But tonight, we're counting down until that historic launch for SpaceX. On Wednesday, the first ever all civilian crew will board the SpaceX Dragon capsule for an out of this world experience around the globe. News 6's James Barbero is at Kennedy Space Center detailing what's to come for the Inspiration 4 launch. In just two more days, Jared Isaacman, Haley Arsenault, Chris Sembroski, and Dr. Cyan Proctor could become the first team of all civilians to blast off on a Falcon 9 rocket and orbit the Earth in a Dragon capsule. Over the weekend, the Inspiration4 crew completed the dress rehearsal, the dry run, just like launch day, except for actually launching. It's like the rehearsal that professional astronauts do before liftoff. Dressed in their spacesuits, riding the SpaceX Teslas to launch pad 39A and boarding Dragon. Chris Sembroski writing, we are so ready for this. These are not professional astronauts, so it's all new to them, all the training. Five months of training, including flying on fighter jets, mountain climbing, and experiencing zero gravity. Space photographer Dr. Ken Kramer says the mission's concept that anyone can be an astronaut in the future is greatly helped when the capsule flies on autopilot. The whole thing is autonomous. They don't have to do anything. And in fact, if they did do something, <laughs> push the wrong button, it could be a real problem. SpaceX reports no problems ahead of liftoff, and the Space Force says the weather looks pretty good. Conditions reported at 70% favorable at launch time. SpaceX says its next update on the mission will be 4.40 Tuesday afternoon, and we can expect to hear from the crew. We'll bring you their comments on the eve of their historic flight. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.